hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a advanced book tracker from the very beginning to the end so let's do it so the first thing we are going to do is take a new page add a page and name it as book tracker then add an icon book icon book icon okay this icon looks good so then let's go to the tree dot button then a small text full width all right now we have the full screen view so i'll take this page as empty page create a slash divider so we divide our database from the title then again click on the slash we are going to take the table view so table view all right so select a data source so click on here and we are going to add a new database now we have the database and we are going to name this database as tracker tracker all right let's hide this database we don't need this anymore then we also don't need this tax property so let's delete this oh yeah now it's good all right so the first thing we are going to do is write down our book's name um so new book all right then we are going to take a new property we are going to set this property as the author name so select the text type and then name it as author name all right so then we are going to take another property click on the plus icon then we are going to select as status all right so we can see here not started and in progress and also complete it's done we can also edit the name so we are going to edit the name as from the to read then in progress no it should be reading all right then also complete our book it should be we already read it all right so let's close it and then we are going to take another property select it as number and we are going to name it as current page all right and then let's close it and let's duplicate this one and we want to name it as total page all right so our book author name should be any name like for example john the current page we are reading 100 out of 500 then we are going to take another property it should be formula all right we are going to make it an advanced book tracker so we need some formula and we are going to name this formula as base lift so let's write some formula so format here then total base minus current base current base space click on plus then space the page is left all right so we can see here 400 page already left three so yeah we are completely done from here so let's click on done so we can see 400 pages left so then we are going to take another property click on plus and it's also a formula to see the progress bar all right let's click on formula and we are going to name it as progress progress of our reading so then let's click on the formula and let's write a formula again right round click on here another bracket current formula current piece then slash again space total base then 100 then again first bracket slash 100 then we are going to click on done but we see 0 0.2 percent so it's not the way we want so let's again click on here and edit property and we can see here is number format so of course it shouldn't be the number format so let's click here and we are going to select the percentage person yeah percent all right so let's close it so we can see 20 percent complete and let's make it look more fancy so again click on here and edit property then scroll down and we can see there is a bar we are going to choose this bar and now we can see 20 percent progress with a bar and also you can change the color of the bar so let's select the light gray or gray all right so let's close it and still there is a lot of thing left to do so let's click on the plus icon again and we want to create a date so date and we are going to name it as com completed date so now we can track down when you complete to read and we also want to review the books that you already read so let's click on the plus icon we're going to a rating system so for that um let's select name it as rating so then scroll down and click add an option from rating 1 to rating 5 so for that we need a rating emoji or rating icon rate it as one star then we can see here then again two star so we don't want to different color in the rating system so let's change the color as light gray or gray 
all right so now we can rate our booking system for example i'm going to rate this book as four star so here yeah, you can see all right so let's make our template more modern for that we are going to click here we're going to add a new template so for now we are going to write down name new book click on add icon and we're going to add a book icon mm, all right this one is good so here yeah, we are done we don't need to do anything else i will show you sometime later how to use it so let's close it so the table view doesn't look so good here so for that reason i'm going to change the view so click on here and we are going to change the layout and i think gallery view will look more beautiful with this template so i'm going to select as gallery view but um this content it should be paste cover so when we will add cover it will show as a preview here so then we can see card size you can select uh, as a small or medium small yeah this one is looking good so let's close it let's again click on the three dot button then we want to more properties to show here so let's click on properties and now it's time which property we want to show in our gallery views i'm going to choose the author name first then our progress bar then paste left all right i think this four views enough so let's close it and now we can see progress bar and 400 page left is Still, there is one more thing left to do so i think we can organize it so let's go on the properties this left should be the top of the progress now it looks more beautiful so let's close it and let's add a cover so we are going to add a cover from here and also add an icon this book icon all right so let's add a cover change cover and also you can upload your cover photo from this upload option but for now i'm just going to choose a default cover from here so let's do it all right i think it looks good for now all right so let's close it and let's get an advanced button system so i'm going to click on slash then button then we're going to name it as add book and icon book icon or this one okay then scroll down and let's add action so then we are going to choose add this to and we are going to select the database as tracker and not as empty we created a template sometimes ago we must remember so we are going to select this new book and we are going to click on done so let's drag it to the top of the center so now let me show you how this book works so once you click on the add book we can see there is a new book appeared so now all you have to do is click on here and add the information of your book so this time we have to create some filters so i'm going to change this as want to read so you will find all the book under this template that you want to read so let's change the icon and we are going to add this target icon for this view so let's close it and we are going to filter it as status so we want it as to read that we want to read then let's duplicate this duplicate here so then again we want to name it as reading the current book we are reading so let's change the icon and we can choose this icon all right so let's close it and we are going to change the filter we want it as in progress right so let's click in progress all right all right let's duplicate this and we want this as completed sorry completed so let's change the icon as complete all right we completed it so again then change the filter and we want to filter it as completed all right so any book that you have completed you will find this under this view that any book you want to read you will find it here so let's see the example so we can see the book is here so let's click it and once we set the status to the complete uh, sorry read we will see that the book is gone from here and you will find it in the completed view so now we are going to create another database for the categories of the books so let's click enter then slash and again we are going to choose the table view table view and we are going to take a new database so name it as categories all right and let's hide this database title so we don't need this text property let's select this property and we are going to add some category all right so now we can see we have added some categories in our database so let's make some uses for these categories we are going back to the, our main database and we are going to create another property add property then we are going to create a relation 
all right we're going to add a relation between categories and our book tracker so i'm going to select as categories and we're going to add relation so now once we click on the empty we can see there is a relation between our categories and our page for example this book is romantic books and we can see here our categories so let's drag it to the top all right let's go back and want to read and we want it as properties we want to show the categories of our book so let's click on the eye icon and now we can see the categories here so we are going to drag it to the top sorry after the author names so let's close it and now we can see there is nothing because we didn't add the categories here so let's click on the empty and let's add romantic and let's close it now we can see the book is romantic categories all right so i'm going to duplicate this database duplicate without content because i want this database with by categories view so let's create this we don't need this anymore so now let's click on the three dot button we are going to change the layout as board view and we are going to set the group by status as categories so let's click on here and we are going to select the categories so click on here you will find all the books by categories list here so let's close it and then we're again going to click here and we want to show the property so i'm going to select as categories then with progress and also as author name so let's rearrange the properties so i want the author name as the top then categories then progress all right now it's cool so let's close it but still the category views doesn't look so good so let's click on slash and click on the page name it as categories and add an icon we are going to list icon choose the list icon all right so let's go back to the book category then we can drag the table icon to the category page so here is our simple book tracker hope you learned to create the book tracker and enjoy this tutorial so thank you for watching still if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe so see you in the next tutorial bye bye